Framingham, Massachusetts. You know it for Shoppers World, Route 9, miles and miles of shopping. Bet you didn't know, though, that the very next Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, etc., lives here. And he's only 15 years old. Meet Lane Sutton. And you are how old? I'm 15 years old. And you are really a remarkable young 15 year old, but it's you, are, you became remarkable at age 11. Tell everybody what makes you so remarkable. So at age 11, um, I had big entrepreneurial interests. Wait, it, it actually started at brewing age. at the age of five. Lane set up an imaginary hotel and put together these packages for his family. So I had a romance package with chocolates and flowers and housekeeping. You know, at five and years I, old? Yeah, I would make breakfast. I, I knew how to do that. And um, I, I charged my grandpa more money because he ate more. <laughs> He's your family, you don't charge your family. But they wanted to give me the start. And you know, I actually sold some of their products in the beginning right back to them. That's brilliant. Yeah, it's smart. <laughs> and it worked. And then at the age of 11, Lane got even more serious, if that's possible. He started KidCriticUSA.com and he reviewed everything. KidCriticUSA.com is a review website where I critique movies, books, activities, restaurants. And now? So I'm a social media coach. I know, um, so but, but what does that mean? So I train businesses on how to use social media effectively. So that's your Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, okay, blogs. Okay, let me just interrupt you. You're 15 years old. Yep, and businesses need that perspective from a young kid who knows, you know, marketing, branding, and has that innate sense of technology. Businesses like Legal Seafoods, Constant Contact, Emerson College, Bentley University, the combined Jewish philanthropies, the list goes on. And he's been profiled in a whole bunch of places, the Wall Street Journal, Forbes.com, and has some pretty lofty followers on Twitter. Tom Cruise followed me. I just had to pick this kid's brain. You're very charming. <laughs> Thank you. You, you are too. That. Oh, you think? Yeah. <laughs> Who impresses you? Which companies do it right? Well, Apple. Now, yeah, Apple, you can start there, sure. JetBlue does a really good Beautiful. job. Yep. Big airline, but they keep that small local touch mm -hmm. with customer service. I'm big on that, you know, and then there's also Coca-Cola. They really get their audience, and they're also the, the most followed beverage company, no surprise. Oreo does a great job. They're doing an interactive campaign for uh, their 100th. Hundred years, yep. yep. Who does it wrong? So the big corporations, they're not engaging. A lot of them just broadcast, and there's that one way they're feeding it to you, and there's no engagement or conversation happening there. And it, it doesn't help their business because studies show that, you know, if I'm just saying, buy this product, mm -hmm. are you going to do that? You know, it, it's not personalized, it's not interactive, and it's definitely not engaging. So companies need to start there, whether it's offering customer service, whether it's offering personalized deals or offers, or, you know, asking questions to hear from their audience, and then having the feedback and conversation from there, that is two-way engagement. What are you going to be when you grow up since you're already there? Uh, well, when I grow up, I want to eventually become the CEO of a company like Apple creating gadgets. That's a long way. It'll take a lot of work to get there. Do you want a job? Um, I have my job, self-employed. Yeah, but you want to work so. for Fox? <laughs> Why do you think that's funny? No, I, I'm proud that you offered that, yeah. <laughs>